we're gonna see what they do what mistakes they make what they can improve on and hopefully can learn so let's start off right here with the kickoff no jump on the kickoff which I do not mind at this rank but throw in a flip practice it in free play just reset the ball practice one flipping and then boosting into the ball and flipping at the end of course which he does grabs the boost right there that's probably a ball for your teammate to go for so he grabs this boost and his teammate is kind of staying back his teammate does completely stop in his tracks which does make it hard for Pat to read here but he goes anyways and now they're both on the ball and it's a double commit preferably what we would have done is we would have rotated around and waited for our teammates to go first and then played off of that but he does commit and so now that we have a double commit and let's see see right here here's another example of a time where you're just over committing your teammate is all the way back here in the opposer in the opponent's net so this is a very risky ball to go for because if you're the opponent and you get a beat right here then it is a wide open net so just rotate back you made your play you made your play hey, let's watch this video good try you make your play just rotate out go around your teammate and go back let your teammate go now it's your teammate's turn let him play let you go anyways tried passing the middle which I kind of kind of like trying to go off the wall but you did get an unfortunate hit backwards into your own team now we are flipping into the ball and this looks like you're playing for the wrong team right now preferably once again you should just rotate around go around go behind your teammate because he's clearly on the ball instead of flipping flip this way so you're not in the path of the ball and you end up taking it off your teammate's head which is very rough you take it from your teammate and pass it into your own corner spawn back in just wait good wait good patience that's good patience right there he waited for the other team to play it into him he knew that they were going to hit it to him so he just waited and they eventually did now he has possession of the ball i don't mind this touch but what would have been better is if he takes this hit goes up and then just lets it bounce it one more time let it bounce one more time get a powerful shot on net because sweaty is flipping backwards he's going all the way back he's going to cover his net and a soft touch out here is very unlikely because you're shooting from the half court line you gotta be aware of where you are shooting it from if you're shooting it from half court line or beyond it's very very likely that the other team will just get the save and probably get uh, the ball possession as well don't turn for this ball go behind I don't know if he's about to turn for this but this is definitely a ball that you can wait on nobody's up nobody's up from the opposing team so you can just wait and go back and your teammate will probably go first here we are jumping we do miss the ball which you know happens you know don't have great aerial control but preferably we just waited and not even had to go up for this ball because your teammate I see him behind you. Let's see what's your yeah, teammate's about to go for it anyways. So if you were back here on the ground behind your teammate, he goes for it, and then you can support him on the play. But instead you're up. Forcing your teammate. See if you're like I said, once again, if you're down here, your teammate hits that ball, you're able to clear it back out. You're able to make up for his mistake. And they just get a free goal up. Because you decided to cut rotation and go whenever you're not supposed to. Good try. Just rotate back. Once again, you're rotating in the play. This is happening a lot, I'm noticing. Instead, you should go around, go behind your teammate, let him go first. Instead of go, going into your own corner in kind of an awkward position. Because you don't, you're low on boost. You're not in the, great ang in the greatest of angles to hit this ball. So just go behind your teammate. There's no reason to stay on there. See awkward, bad touch. Luckily, you do get a bump. You get a bump. Force the ball out of there. Let your teammate go. Do if you hit, you should be way back here. Your teammate clearly is on the ball. You should be way back here, letting him play and supporting his play. 
That's the biggest no of in Rocket League. Your teammate's about to dribble the ball and you're up here bumping him. Now he gets his dribble off with no boost. Another good cut. Good try. Good dribble. Good try. Right to your teammate. And once again, you bump him. You flip right into the play. This ball is around you. Here. Look, this ball is going right over here. If you you can either keep going this way since your momentum is carrying you that way, and you don't really want to slow down your momentum, or you can just turn and hold your power slide, turn back, go this way. But instead, you go in between and you go right into the ball. It's like you're another defender for the other team, and you flip into it, which your teammate could have had a better shot, obviously. But you do bump him. Your teammate might have been able to follow that ball up. Good patience. Great save. Right into your own corner. Right to your teammate. Good try. See, a little too close to the play. A little too close. This is probably not going to be a great 50. You and your teammate are right here. So you probably should have been the one to go back. And a double commit. Leaves your net wide open. And yeah, they score. See if... You you are just playing too close to your teammate. You need to realize that your teammate is there already. You don't need to go up for that ball. You just need to go back and play play it more patiently. Great first touch. Should be a goal. And that's just a well executed play by you. Another kickoff. Good touch. And that's just another goal. Just like that. Got two goals on him just from two kickoffs. Good try on the leave. So this probably should have been your teammate that hit the ball. Obviously he tried and missed it. But as soon as you... As soon as you go right here and realize that your teammate missed the ball and you're the last man, this guy, you can see he's challenging. He's right from your angle. You can see he's boosting towards you. So right here, he's already pre-jumped. He's already jumped before you've even made your move. So. A f flip to the right is probably making this ball go right over here. And that's around one guy. And this guy is already facing the wrong way. So it'll be behind him. So if you make that play, he's rotating this way. And then you have a almost free shot on this uh, bishop here makes a good recovery. But instead, you don't do anything. And so he just gets a, he uses you as a T and t-ball and hits the ball right off of you if it go back no reason to hit that ball that ball is that ball is not there's no reason to hit this bar right here you can go behind your teammate and then your teammate can go you get a better clear downfield gotta be aware gotta be aware that they're cheating up and they're both on this ball if you turn this way start shadowing then that's a lot better of a defensive strategy instead of just driving straight at the ball because either one of them could hit it and even if you do say you get a 50 with one the other one's there to back them up but you're last man so you need to rotate back and defend your own goal going right here bishop sees that you're going and sees that the you leave the net wide open see nobody's even in sight so he just gets a free shot on the net and you get beat to the ball and yeah they go up three to four so, what I mean by playing around the play is right here there's an open net, but instead of you driving, whenever you're behind the ball and the ball is going that way towards your own net with the opponents um, right behind it, you do not want to go through the play. This would be through the play. You want to go on the outside of the play, around the play, because that signals to your teammate that he can go first and then you're there to back him up. But if you go through the play, you just keep going this way, you're practically another offensive player preventing your teammate from getting a clean save and just putting yourself in a worse position if you would have just rotated cleanly around and let your teammate get the ball. This, this is a perfect example of how you should play around the play. Instead of you going through the play, you're going around. Just like you should. Wait, even then, you're not rotating far enough. You still need to go to this back post. This is like a checkpoint every time you go on defense. You need to make sure 
and even stay here long. But once again, you see the same thing. The ball is on this side of the field. So even if you want to grab this boost, which is fine, you still need to go through and around. That puts yourself in a better position. If you grab this boost, maybe boost a little bit and grab those small pads, you're in such a better position for this ball because now, instead of being over there, you're right here. And as this ball goes right there, you're able to clear it off his head. And once again, another 1v1 situation. But the takeaways from this game, I would say, are going around the play, over committing and double committing with your teammate, making sure that you let your teammate play the ball, do not be side by side with your teammate, give him space to do what he needs to do on the ball and be able to support his play. And on defense, going around your teammate, letting him go first. And those are the main takeaways from this replay. And I uh, hope you guys did enjoy. And if you want your own replay reviewed, join the Discord link in the description. And you can submit it there. Or just contact me through there. Either way. But hope for more of these. And appreciate you for watching.